Before installation, please take note of these precautions and follow them strictly. First, subfloor flatness. Subfloor should be flat within a tolerance of 2 millimeters per 2 meter. Second, expansion gap. Allow a minimum 8 to 10 millimeters gap between SPC flooring and wall for flooring expansion. Third, laying moisture barrier. All types of subfloors require a 6 to 8 mil moisture barrier prior to installation. Check subfloor flatness, the maximum height difference of the subfloor. Within any length of 2 meters should not exceed 2 millimeters. If the subfloor cannot meet this standard, leveling is required. The concrete subfloor needs self-leveling treatment. When installing, keep the 8 to 10 millimeters expansion gap from the wall. Make sure the subfloors are level, clean, and dry. All types of subfloors require a 6 to 8 mil moisture barrier prior to installation. And the joints of the moisture barrier need to be sealed with moisture barrier tape. Installation phase. Place the SPC flooring in the room where you will install it for at least 24 hour acclimation. Keep the indoor temperature between 15 to 27 degrees Celsius and keep the relative humidity at 35% to 65%. Measure and plan the installation area. The width of the last row should not be less than 50 millimeters. If not, adjust the width of the first row to be installed. And plan an extra 5% to 10% of flooring for cutting waste. If the length or width of the room exceeds 12 meters, it should be partitioned by T-moldings. Recommended installation tools. Pull bar. Rubber hammer. Tapping block. Utility knife. Pencil. Tri-square. Tape measure. 8 to 10 millimeters spacers. When cutting planks, each board maintains a length difference of not less than 300 millimeters. Place spacers between planks and objects such as walls. You should start laying from left to right. Keep the groove edge face you. Till 20 to 30 degrees for short side installation. Tilt the plank 25 to 30 degrees and insert it into the flooring's long side. Make sure that the end joints of all planks are at least 30 centimeters apart. For corners, measure the protruding object and mark the dimensions of the respective plank. Cut off the excess. When you encounter the pipes, measure and mark the location of the pipes and drill holes in the flooring twice the size of the expansion gap. Place T-moldings to create a smooth transition between the two hard surfaces. When the flooring is installed, remove the spacers and install the skirting for better effect. Reducer. Bridging the gap between two surfaces of different level heights to achieve a smooth transition. Decno manufacture the best flooring for brands. 